really sort of super bean. President. The president. It's really kind of neat to be the man. The executive. The White House they can draft me. The opposition crafty. But nonetheless, he does the best he can. You bet your bloomers. The stand from the House of Representatives. That's usual. The Senate is a wee bit out of hand. That's possible. The cabinet is trouble. The budget may get double. We hear that there's unrest around the land. What else is new? Got the dinners and the protocol. And every night another ball. Those state occasions when you must go all out. And there's the tensions of a nation without rest or recreation. Yeah, but once a year I get to throw a ball out. Missed. It's really fun to live around the capital. But do your weekly washing in D.C. <laughs> No nations criticize him, dissenters analyze him. We've, We've all been realizing recently. Heavy interest is really quite a super thing to be. It's a lot of laughs. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, being president does have its drawbacks. Like, for example, privacy. I mean, with all those secret service men around, you just can't get a moment's privacy. Oh, I think you're exaggerating, dear. Yeah, maybe so. Good night. Good night. <laughs> you know, being president of the United States must be an important job. Why else would he get paid almost as much as Joe Namath? A good president and a good vice president go hand in hand, but not down Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> A member of the Gay Liberation Party never becomes president. Yeah, I mean, who want to march to the song called Three Cheers for the Red, White, and Tooth? <laughs> <clears throat> this is the president. What? Hmm? It's for you. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, tomorrow. Oh, fine. Make it a wash, set, and manicure. Come in! Hello. <clears throat> My name is Abraham Lincoln. It is? Uh, mm -hmm. It's a funny name for a white dude. During the president's historic mission to Moscow, many toasts were given and the vodka flowed freely. <laughs> what is not so well known is that the president prepared for this jovial ceremony with a... Uh, secret practice session. Well, we've been at this eight hours now, Henry. I'm getting sleepy. Well, I, I know you are, sir, but it's important, Mr. President. Now, let's run through it just one more time. First, the Russian Minister of Propaganda right. gives his toast. Right, okay. To peace! To peace. Oh. <laughs> now, that wasn't too bad, was it, Mr. President? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine, fine. Uh, what happens next? Well, uh, next you sit down. Sir. Oh, funny, I thought I was. <laughs> and then the Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs will give his toast. To America! America. <laughs> and now, Mr. President, it's up to you to give your toast. It's what? It's up to you, sir. Oh, it's up to me? Very well. I'll see you and raise your dollar. No, no, you can simply stand up and speak. Oh. My fellow Americans... No, these are Russians. Oh. My fellow Russians, we have heard there are communists in the Kremlin. Well, there are communists in the Kremlin. See, Spiro was right. They're everywhere. One more thing. The closing ceremony. One, two, three. Sweet Adeline. I think he's almost got it. I think Burt Reynolds ought to be president. There's a man who keeps everything out in the open. <laughs> oh, yes, James, what is it? Uh, Mr. President, the inauguration is over now, and uh, the new president is here to take over the office. But I don't want to leave. I'm afraid you do. But I, I like it here. I got all my, uh, my stuff in the drawers. We, we just have the, the bathroom redone. We're having a for dinner tonight and everything. Now, Mr. President. Whoopee! Hey, get me any place in the world. Free. Send me up lots of food. Oh, hello, Kremlin. President Ernie here. Pookie, pookie, pookie. 
I bet the Marquis de Sade would have made a great president. He'd love to be kicked around by the press. Well, yes, fine, fine. Good to see you. Good nice see of you. Would you like a souvenir? Oh. Would you like a pen? No, no, thank no. you, sir. Uh, perhaps you uh, don't remember. I'm your son, uh, Billy. Well, of course you are, Billy. Good to see you, Good Billy. See you you voted, did you, Billy? Oh, absolutely, Nice sir. to see you, Billy. Never. What can I do for you? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, is I have a date tonight. Wonderful, wonderful, thank Billy. You. I'm glad to hear that, Billy. You have a date tonight. Yes, I do. Thank yes. You. And I was wondering, uh, since I do have this date yes. tonight, could I have uh, the keys to Air Force One? No. <laughs> Our first president was George Washington, who could not tell a lie. Sure. <laughs> but don't forget, he didn't have to make any campaign promises either. <laughs> In order to increase the audience appeal of press conferences and other official addresses, some presidents may resort to using formats of successful TV shows. And now, from Washington, it's the White House show starring Richard Nixon with special guest John Connolly to sing both sides now, Doc Kissinger and the Security Council Orchestra, and me, I'm Spiro Agnew. And here's the president. Thank you. There he is. Spiro, how are you? Good to see you, Dick. Saw Spiro on the uh, golf course yesterday on the fourth hole. One of the survivors had him arrested for hit and run putting. <laughs> yo! Yes. Oh. I heard your yo. There he is, the flower of the musical world, Doc Henry Kissinger and his traveling band. How you feeling tonight, Doc? Uh, Lovely outfit. Thank you. You look like a delegate to the Fire Island Peace Talks. <laughs> Got a couple of good numbers for us tonight? Oh, sure do. Kremlin 6467, that's for all. <laughs> and in Peking, it's Chow Mein 7432. Oh, Henry, you're really the premier's pajamas. <laughs> well, I can remember you're when the old... boss. <laughs> you had some more lines over there, didn't no, you, No, 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 go right ahead. I remember when old Henry used to be a candy bar. Now it's something that women all over the world are saying. <laughs> Well, moving right along. Hey, it was really hot in the White House today. How hot was that? Thank you. Well, it was so hot that my wage price freeze melted. <laughs> hey, did you read the New York Times today? No, I didn't. What was in it? Lindbergh made it. Oh. No. Uh, no, no. You sure can ad lib. <laughs> it seems a uh, lobbyist wanted to combine the uh, Lincoln and Jefferson memorials. Lincoln will still be sitting in his chair but Jefferson will be sitting in his lap. <laughs> I think they're coming after us. <laughs> uh, thanks, Doc. Is that an audience out there or the Democratic National Committee? <laughs> May the bluebird of happiness drop an egg roll on your oil depletion allowance. <laughs> May the great armadillo of life uh, climb up your nerd. We'll be right back after this denial from the Pentagon. Pookie, pookie, pookie. <laughs>